so hey guys um I thought I'd use my proper camera to do a review on my new Vader's Walt Blade well I've had it for a few days now though but um so here it is you can kind of see it more better it's on my Ultra Savers Overlord because that's the hilt that I chose to use it on I will be getting more of these soon though, but, um, let's see if I can get a close up view of the frost detail. Probably not really. But right there actually looks pretty good. I got the shine through rounded tip option, and it's at 34 inches. Because, like I said earlier, well before, um, at 34 inches it gives kind of a um, like a movie blade prop kind of look to it. And like everyone else has always said, it's like freaking light as a feather. It weighs nothing basically. So I will turn it on real quick so you guys can see it. It's really amazing. And again, I'm not hating on Ultra Sabers or anyone else, but um, I think the Vader's Vault Blade is way tons better, in my opinion. About right there is the, how it looks in person. Like, um, about like right here in this area. It's really amazing though, especially with the sign through tip goes all the way up to the blade. Let me turn the light off real quick. Bam. Looks even better in the dark. And that looks amazing on camera. I can't get over how really good looking these blades are. And like I said, it shines all the way up. And it looks just like in the movies, basically. About right there. That's how it kind of looks in person. And then as you can see on my wall, you can even see the full sign through tip going all the way up. And with the windows, it looks even cooler on the emitter. So I'm definitely going to be getting more of these probably next month. Um, I'll kind of show how it works. Like can move around easily with these things. Um, I can't really spin right now. I'll try and do a basic spin with it. Weighs basically nothing. So, um, I highly recommend Vader's Waltz Blades on any saber. And there isn't any, like sometimes on ultra blades, you can hear like a little ting noise when you swing around or whatever. And even with the thin wall blade from Vader's Vault, you hear nothing. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I don't really know what else to say about the blade other than it's really amazing and it glows really nicely. I'll see if I can get a view of the tip for you guys. There you go. It's really nice. Um, let me get the light real quick. Um, I like how they did their tips because it's kind of, it kind of blends in with the rest of the blade. 
you, you can barely see where it meets at. Like right there. Up here you can kind of see the frost detail a little bit. And in person it even has like a frost kind of feel on the blade itself. It's really cool. So I'll let you guys look at that again. Just the lights real quick. Oh. really amazing. Um, they don't use um, glue at the bottom of the blade because I guess um, I'm probably not wording it exactly but uh, it helps not like uh, it helps the film not like warp or crinkle or anything like that or whatever. Especially when you just bend and hit other blades. Like when you swing it though, when you do like hard stops, it, you can't see the blade uh, crank, or the film crinkle, but it doesn't stay crinkled, which is nice. So that's my proper review on the on a first Vader's wall item, and it's the dual famous really famous dual diffused blade at um I got mine at thirty four inches with the rounded shine through tip. Looks really cool. That's probably my favorite part of the blade, how the light shines um all the way up. Which is how I think any uh saber blade should be. So that's it for now. Alright, see you guys. I approve.